if you have any web server ftp server a streaming service or anything that you are running on your network and you want to make sure that these are accessible using your public ip in pfsense there is a service called nat which helps you to do the port forwarding where you forward a request which comes to a specific port on your public network or public ip address and then you redirect that post to a specific ip on your network with pfsense NAT is straightforward and flexible. So I can simply log into the PFSense and in PFSense, you will see in firewall, the section is called NAT. So these are the port forward rules. So all the rules related to NAT or port forward will be defined here. And if you remember, in my case, I have a router here, which is provided to me by the service provider. My public IP is linked to this particular device. So if I show you with the help of network diagram, this is my network. And this is my firewall and this is provided by service provider, which is this one. And here is internet. And of course, here are the users who are trying to access. Now, for example, if this particular user want to access website on my data center, which is hosted here. So how this website will be publicly accessible in this environment. Telecom provider has provided me this particular firewall or router. And this is my PFSense. The public IP is available on this. And I have, in fact, configured the public IP address as a DNS on my Cloudflare. You can create Dyne DNS. I have been provided a public IP address by my Service provider which is static IP address and I have created a DNS record for that so here is my public IP address and if I want to check the port 80 for test.syncpricks.com you can see port 80 is closed right now and I need to open port 80 so that web server will be accessible if I go to my pfSense I will show you my WAN IP here also so WAN IP here is provided by the DHCP server and in my case, this is the DHCP server for the PFSense and I want to forward all the ports of this public IP address to the PFSense so that this PFSense is exposed to the public. How I'll do that? Assign the IP address to the WAN port manually. So I will do that. I will do static here and in static, I will choose the IP address which will be 192.168.100.100. I will just check here the DHCP information assigned IP address to PFSense is 232 but I want to assign the IP address manually which will be 100.100. .100. So I will simply save this now. So what will happen here that IPv4 on WAN port will be assigned here manually which is 192.168.100.100. .100. If I show you the IP configuration of uh, PFSense right now, and my PFSense uh, WAN IP is 192.168.100.100 .100 and LAN IP is 192.168.240.1. And if I talk about router here, which is provided to me by the telecom company, I have configured the uh, DNS for the public IP, which is test.syncbricks.com and the LAN IP is 192.168.100.1. So how it is working right now, if I show you port forwarding, which is configured right now, here it shows that the port 80 and port 443 are forwarded to 8006 of Proxmox. So I have an Proxmox server here, which I'm able to access using internet with the help of port forwarding, which is done here. And I don't want to use that. I want to use now PFSense for this purpose. I want to use the port forwarding in PFSense. If you see here NAT, nothing is configured here. So I want to make sure that whenever any traffic comes from the internet to my gateway, it should be forwarded to the PFSense and then PFSense should forward to the relevant server. For example, this is the Proxmox which is connected to both the networks. It is also connected to the network which is provided to me by the a telecom service provider and it is also connected to this network suppose i want to only use one network which will be this one here so i want to do the port forwarding to proxmox or to any web server so which i'll explain you in the next videos in nginx proxy manager that how we can take care of the proxy management but let me now forward the port 443 and port 80 to 192.168.240.2 from the pfSense and what we'll do we will forward all the ports here which means that this network will be translated to this network so 100.1 which has the public ip will have all the ports forwarded here so there are multiple methods to do that one method is that of course you choose 100.100 .100 here and then from port 
one to sixty five thousand six hundred sixty six you forward it here that is one way but i won't do that i will just simply delete this rule in my existing router uh, which is provided to me my service provider in your case it could be any router which you have so you have to just log into the web user interface if you are using it as a bridge mode if you are directly providing the user id and password in your pf sense in the WAN interface then that is not a problem but right now this WAN interface is working as a LAN interface for my router so I want all the ports to be forwarded to this particular IP so from this gateway all the ports I want to get forwarded to pfSense gateway so this will just work as a bridge in that case so it will be forwarding all the ports here so whatever request on this IP will be coming from the WAN IP so it will be forwarded here so if I show you by the diagram so if any of the ports any of the request from anyone it could be intruder it could be good user any port request comes to this particular gateway should be forwarded first to this gateway so i will do that configuration here and then i'll show you how to get how to do the configuration in nat so let me show you first of all from this router so that once we do the configuration we will just come back there there is one option called dmz configuration dmz the purpose of dmz was that if any uh, request from outside any any service request from outside will be coming to this network it will send to anywhere for example i can put a random ip address 192.168. Uh, for example 30.1 so which doesn't exist at all so what will happen that any one trying to access anything from outside the world or from the internet will be just coming back here i can even enable this the moment it is enabled so it will just go here now if i try to access test.syncprix.com port 443 it will be closed because it doesn't know where to go so that's why it is closed right now. but i want to open this so how i'll do that i will first of all forward all the traffic that comes from the internet to 192.168.100.100 so instead of sending to a random IP address or any IP address which doesn't exist, we know that how to configure internally with the help of PFSense. That's why we want to forward all the ports on this particular IP address, which is 192.168.100.1 to 192.168.100.100 and apply. Now what has happened here? All the public IP requests that will be coming to this ip address in fact will be going to this ip address internet traffic is directly now coming here so any port request comes from the outside network it will be directly coming to pfsense any user trying to access the website so request will be coming here any user trying to access any other port so request will be coming here but right now also if i try to check the port if the port is open or not for example if i check this again it will be closed why it is closed because we did not enable the nat rule in the pf sense now our first job is completed where all the ports will be forwarded to this pf sense ip which is 192.168.100.100 for external and this also has public ip dns test dot syncbricks.com in your case it could be public ip you have to just check the public ip and i will show you how to use the dyn dns or no ip to have your public dns so your public dns could be anything in my case it is test.syncbricks.com and I will be able to access test.syncbricks.com uh, for any web server. Right now it is Proxmox. It was running when I was doing the port forwarding on my uh, service provider router. But right now, if I try to access it again, it won't allow me. It is not existing because the port forwarding is disabled. All the ports are being forwarded to PFSense right now. But in PFSense, I did not mention any NAT. So now if I show you this was the IP address of Proxmox on this network but the IP address of Proxmox on this network is different. So I will just open that 192.168.240.2. You can see here that it is running HTTPS on port 8006. So I need to configure the HTTPS traffic that whenever HTTPS traffic comes to a pf sense or public ip it should be forwarded to 8006 let us assume that this is my web server which is running on 8006 and i want to forward all the https request to this particular ip so how we'll do that i'll go to pf sense here in pf sense i will create firewall nat rule and i will click on add right now nothing has been added so this is the first rule 
for the NAT that I'll be creating. So here, what will happen? Interface will be WAN. Of course, I want the traffic to come from the WAN. So it will be coming from the internet to WAN interface and then it will send to LAN interface. So from where the traffic is coming, it is coming from the WAN interface. It is fine. So what will be the destination? Destination will be the WAN address. So I want the WAN IP address to be translated to my Proxmox server. So how I'll do that? I'll go back here. WAN address, this is fine. What will be the destination port range? So destination port range, if it is coming to HTTPS, so I will do HTTPS, here it is fine. Where it will redirect? It will redirect to the single host. I want to forward it to a single host. And what will be that single host? It will be 192.168.240. You have to guess it. What is that? It's 2. 2 is this particular Proxmox server. It could be any web server. So in my case, this is the web server right now, which I want to open to the public. So I'll go back here to PFSense. Now what is the redirect port? So what port will be redirected? From public, from WAN address, it will be HTTPS, in fact, not HTTP, it will be HTTPS, which is port 443, which is, of course, you can see here, this is HTTPS. And where it will go? It will go to the other port. So other port will be 8006. So what I'll say, it, I'll give it a name, for example, tutorial Proxmox port forwarding and I'll click save. The moment you click save, it will do two things. It will create the NAT rule here. Another that it will also open this particular port from the firewall. If I apply the changes here, you will see here that one rule is created inside NAT, which is that it will forward the traffic whenever the source address is any, source port is any, but the destination port is 443 and it will redirect it to 192.168.240.2 and port will be 8006. And if I show you the firewall rule, it will be rule here. And in that rule, you will see that from WAN, 8006 is also enabled. So this firewall rule is also created now. So now my firewall rule is created 192.168.240.2.8006 port is open and my NAT is also configured. Now let me check if this port is right now working. 443 is open. So I'll click on check. So port 443 is open to this particular public IP. And if I try to open this now, test.syncpricks.com, open this now, you can see here that Proxmox is running right now. It is open and port 443 is forwarded and it is working fine. If I go into NAT rule, you can see how it has been configured that whenever any traffic comes to the van where the protocol is tcp source address could be anyone any source address on the network any source port from the network but destination is van address van address which means that address of the pf sense so what will happen it will nat to the ip which means that request will be forwarded to the ip address which is the proxmox and what will be the port port will be 8006 so Proxmox is using 8006 HTTPS port, but I'm not going to use the same port. If I open this firewall rule here, you will see here that port was HTTPS and it has been forwarded to 8006. So this could be any of your other HTTPS servers. Let us continue to the next video.